I'm Jared Younger, Director of the Neuroinflammation, Pain, and Fatigue Laboratory at UAB, and this is continuing our series of short videos where we talk about new projects in the laboratory and new findings in the laboratory. So today I want to talk about lotus naltrexone for MECFS, or chronic fatigue syndrome. You've probably heard about lotus naltrexone. This is a drug that's used for very different purposes at the normal dose, which is around 50 milligrams to 100 milligrams a day. But at the low dose, which is around 4.5 milligrams per day, it seems to help with a lot of different chronic conditions. Some of the primary ones are uh, Crohn's disease, multiple sclerosis. It's been used more recently for depression. There is uh, some more recent research in potential anti-cancer properties, and fibromyalgia. Those are probably the big ones. Now, when we look at it in fibromyalgia, we see that it certainly reduces the widespread pain of fibromyalgia. But a lot of the participants also say that they have more energy and it feels like their fatigue is reduced. So there's a potential that lotus naltrexone may help with fatigue as well. The problem is, is we don't know if it's improving their fatigue because it reduces their pain and that lets them sleep better and so they have more energy, or does the drug have a direct impact on fatigue? Now, when I look on the internet and the discussions, it's not very clear. Some people will say it helped my pain, but it didn't help my fatigue. Other people will say, yeah, it helped my fatigue quite a bit. So it's not very clear, and that means we need to do a scientific study, and that's, that's the purpose of this research. Now, this is not a um, clinical trial um, proper. It's not large enough to answer definitively the question about whether lotus naltrexone helps most people with MECFS. This is a pilot trial. It's a preliminary trial, so it's smaller. The purpose of the study is to say, or to answer the question, is this area of research worth the money and the time to pursue, or should we be looking at something else? And because it's a small study, we have more restrictive parameters for enrolling people. And then if it looks good, we'll do a larger study with a, a wider range of people. So for this study, uh, you can be eligible if you have MECFS. Uh, you have to be close to Birmingham, Alabama, so you can come to monthly laboratory visits. The participation lasts for about seven months. Uh, it's occurring in 2017. You have to not be pregnant. Uh, you can't be taking opioid medications. And you can't have a major medical comorbidities like major heart disease or, or cancer. You also have to predominantly be affected with fatigue instead of pain because we really want to answer this question about does this drug help with fatigue. So those are the major inclusion criteria. Now if you're uh, enrolled in the study, this is what's going to happen. You'll come to the visits about once a month uh, again, we're starting this in January 2017, so this study is starting right about when this video is being released. You'll come to the visits, you'll do some blood draws, you'll get capsules, you'll take capsules once per day, that's at nighttime, and then you'll fill out a questionnaire that takes about a minute. So it's pretty simple. Now you're not going to know what you're getting at any given time. Uh, you could be getting lotus naltrexone, you could be getting placebo. We can guarantee that everyone will get lotus naltrexone at least at some part of the study. Could be at the beginning, could be at the end, could be in the middle, could be the entire time. You're not going to know that, but you will get the drug at some point. At the end of the study, you will find out what you received and when you received it. So you'll know if lotus naltrexone is actually helpful for you. And you will be compensated for your participation during the study. So that's the basic idea. Uh, we're enrolling 30 women. Uh, so it's a fairly small study. And we hope to have this wrapped up by the end of summer 2017. We want to run this as fast as possible and get the results out as fast as we can. So if you're interested in being screened for the study, I'm going to put some links in the description below the video, and you can get all the information you need about the study there. Dr. Luke Parkitney is going to be running the study, and I, I'm excited to see this finally happen. People have been asking us to do this for a very long time. We finally got through the regulatory hurdles, and now we can start the study. So I'm really eager to see if lotus naltrexone helps for fatigue, and I really appreciate everyone who's going to be participating in the study, and we'll give you some more information soon. Thanks.